Well, how do you everybody? We finally get to basketball. Our first game of the season, uh, COVID shortened season between the New Trier Trevians and the Main West Warriors. From New Trier, glad to have you with us. And we're not doing jump balls this year, so everything is going to be uh, on throw-ins. Main West with the basketball and nearly stolen. Out top. And the jumper, no. And taken down by the Trevians. We're going to have to readjust ourselves to getting the names of the players here. And the shot, no. Up top and the regroup by the Trevs. Put to the far side, go for the three, no. Trevian's got the rebound. On the side, guys, and inside for the deuce, and Cohen with the first basket of the game for the Trevians, and the Trevians get the ball back inbound by Josh Kirkpatrick. Give it to Candelos. And now the shot, and that's good for a deuce. And Will Geis with the basket. This may be the last year for Gates Gym. They're talking about uh, the plan to replace this with a whole new facility the the whole new east side of the of the basically the athletic side of the school and uh this gym would be torn down and a new one built and they're saying that they would start next year or the end of this year with that construction if the approval comes through and they're expecting to do that uh this year, and this month actually, up and in on the nice dish shop. This place first opened in December 1928. First basketball game was December 14th, 1928. New Trier and Englewood. And Englewood won the game. Up top, going for the three. No, heavy. And Kirkpatrick dished it off. Cantalos up top. Inside by Monroe and couldn't find the pass, but Nutrier basketball underneath. Inbounded. Well, it's nice to be back on the on our sports broadcasts. We had a couple of baseball games this year, but not a lot. Actually, we had basically one season divided by two and the foul the first one good and the second one's also good and the inbound we're not going to be taking uh the breaks like we normally do in the quarters for now. 
And across the timeline, but the foul. Canalos with the foul. And the wholesale substitution. Trevian's probably going to do this a lot this year. Uh, basically, what is going on is we've got six weeks of uh, basketball. And what the Central Suburban League is doing is two games against conference rivals and one game against crossover, which means the South versus North or North versus South, however you want to call it. And this is a crossover game. On the side. Up top. Back to the side. Our first conference home-home series is against Glenbrook North. And running, but uh, took one too many steps. And a little travel and music. They're wearing masks, so it counts. And a timeout taken. 3.56 to play here in the first quarter. Trevian's lead by six. Some parents are allowed in uh, here. It's got to be approved in advance. To the side. And the shot, no, heavy. Up top, going for the three, no. Trevian's come up with it. On the side, Toth, up top, kick back to the corner, going for the three, no. And the foul. And the inbound. Up top, inside a little shot. Yep, got it to fall. Carlo Kolak with the shot. Well, the two. And then a foul over here on this side. And that's Kolak. Trevians only have six seniors this year on the team. On the side, up top, on the rotation. Toth tried to drive, couldn't get going, and then traveling music. Dullest player on the Trevians this year is Tyler Van Gorp, though I he isn't here right now. Tyler, a sophomore, he's six foot ten. Tallest on the floor for this game is Jackson Monroe. He's a six eight junior. Dished off by Aiden Brayboy. 
And no, the foul. On the floor. Shot didn't count. And again up top. On the rotation around. To the corner, going for the three. Metro Chicago Sports Network is seen on Nutri Television. And a couple of substitution. And basically bringing the first group. They are going to take a timeout here. Inbounded. Strong arm up and in for the deuce. Finn Cohen with the shot. Up top. Nearly knocked away by Monroe. The next official Trevians game in real time will be an away game against Maine East. And again, a crossover game. And traveling. Inbounded. And brought up by Canelos. Gave it to Kirkpatrick, back to Canelos, back to Kirkpatrick, back to Canelos. Far side, back. Canelos, Kirkpatrick. Inside. For Monroe, up top. To the side, going for the three. Yes. And it was uh, Jake Fegan with the three shot. For the Trevians, Swishery for three. And up and they were done with the first quarter. And at the end of the first quarter, the Trebians lead by a bunch here. And be sure to join us on the network. I think we're basically back up for all our sports now, although different times and I don't know if we're going to be able to do all the games having to do with uh, restrictions with the uh, pandemic, but we'll see what we can do here. Inside, Monroe dished it off. Shot attempt was blocked. Stolen back by Nutrier. And possession retained by the Trevians on the out-of-bounds on the sidelines. Out the inbound. Monroe. Guys, and now back door. And Jackson Monroe with the deuce.
up and no, and Monroe with the rebound up top and the shot no. Cantalos and tried to go for a back door and that missed connections and stolen right back and trying to drive and did so and scooped it up and in. And also the foul. And Peter Kenelos to the line. And missed the extra shot. And Stalin, nice job stepping in there. Catalogs. Side. And foul on the region. Noah Shannon comes in for the. And Jake Fegan. Well, we're now in our 51st year of high school sports. And the outside three is good. And up and in for the deuce. And Kirkpatrick with the Trevians leading uh, 24 to 2. Maine West having troubles making their shots. Understandable. Everybody a little out of whack here with uh, such a long layoff. Basically, basketball-wise, it's been a an eleven-month layoff. So you know, even though you could be practicing. You'd, Quite a bit different to practice and be in a game. And, and an outside three. That's good. Shannon faded inside. Back up top. And a three the other way. Nope. A long distance three, no, and again up top, and Trevians have it. Guys, to the side, going for the three. Yep, Swishery for three. Vegan with the Swishery for three. Trevians with another platoon substitution scheduled. Next opportunity. And out of bounds. And now the wholesale substitution. P car. Bray Boy. Uh, Kolak. Toth. 4.16 left to play. Here in the first half.
And jump ball. Possession retains to Maine West. And the shot, no. Up top. And turn around in the paint and the deuce. Trevians with the basketball. Up top. Chang. Picar. And stolen on the air and pass. And again, going for the three with friendly bounce in for the deuce, uh, for the tray. Again, the rotation around. Up and in for the deuce. Kolak with the basket. Outside, in and out on the three. Trevians with the basketball. Put to the far side. Trevians have a lot of players in the 6 4 range. This year. Picar 6'3. Krimiscoli 6'4. Fegan 6'4. Brayboy 6'4. Toth the 6'4. Kolak is 6'4. And Noah Shannon is 6'4. On the side, up top. At least that's what they're listed at. I Inside, up and in for the deuce on the running gun. Up top, to the side, and whoops, out of bounds. Pull it back in, but nice and bounce it. Up top, back over to the side. Again, out high. Drive-ins, pass it around the perimeter.
And found the lane. Up and in by Canelos. And that's it for the first half. Travians lead by 25 at the end of the first half. And Travians will inbound to start the second half. Travians in com command by 25. Up top. Guys gave it off. And the shot for the three from the side. Good. Swishery for three. Josh Kirkpatrick with the three. And the bump and the foul. And the Trevians will end bad. Or Main West, rather. And the Warriors on the shot, no. Dished off up top, going for a long three, no, short. And Warriors come back and the bump. Canelos with the foul. And Jake Fagan comes in. Back across the timeline. To the side. The running gun deuce. Main West out by O'Hare Airport, just a little north of the airport. Uh, Wolf Row, Wolf and Tui, roughly. And foul. Trevian's foul. Finn Cohen. On the side. Up top. And up and in for the deuce. And a zigzag play. Geis wasn't expecting the pass. Up top, and going for the three, no. Up top, again, over to the side. And the deucer, yep. But I think it was Geis with that. And again, we've got the uh, player control and Trevians with the platoon substitution.
to the side. Tried to drive and no, nope, knocked out of bounds. Trevians keep possession though. Up top. And Bray Boy from the corner. No, a little short. Got a high. And that shot missed. Coming back. And a little traveling on the part of the Trevians. And we got a timeout. Trevians lead big. On the side. And stolen. And up and in for the deuce. Toth finishing it off with the deuce. And a fall. Kolak with the fall. Missed the first. And the second as well. Travis with the basketball. Again, the rotation. Tried to drive the paint. And then tried to pass it off, and neither one of them worked. And block. And Noah Shannon checks in for the Trevians. Replacing Kolak. I think that was who it was. Up top. I think I'm wrong on that. That's this is all trying to get to know the the roster this year. First time I'm seeing them. Usually I uh just kinda Hang around a practice or two just to try and get a feel. But uh, this year, I did. Obviously, I couldn't do that. Up and no on the running gun on the steal. And they shot and the foul. Yeah, hoop and the harm. And Cole Handelman checks in. And got the three-point play. Open underneath, turn around and got it. It was uh, Jacob Toth.
Drive for the steal, didn't quite get there. Tried to lay it up, no. Loose on the floor, Trevians pick it up. Up ahead, and stepped on the line, spinning away from the defender. Devin Kremaskoli checks in for the Trevians. On the side. And go for the three. No. On the rotation. Up top. Underneath. And drives and puts it off. And Toth with the basket, Jacob Toth. And a timeout taken. Trevians have extended their lead even more here. Up top. And they fall on the drive before. Grimace Gully with the fall. To the side. One of the things about not having fans at the stands and all the rest is you get to hear more of the coaches and whatever as well, one and one. I mean, we do have fans, but. There's like 30 or 40 of them over on the other side from us. And miss the second. Handleman up ahead. Gave it to Kolak. Up top. Picard. Back to Picard. Whoa! And we're done with the third quarter. And Trevians lead by a whole bunch here. 29, I think. Something like that. 28. As we go to the fourth quarter. Here at New Trier, first game of the season. We've waited 11 months to start the season since we finished up last year. 11 months to the day, actually. March 6th, 2020 was the last game. And this is February 6th of 2021. And the long one, no. Travians with the rebound. Up ahead. Over to the far side. Handelman to the side, thought to take the three. And then a little traveling music, Maestro. And Chang comes in. And foul on uh, 
And Kolak with the foul. Nope. Chang. Brings it up. Put it to the side. Up top. Handelman. Dished it off. Back to Handelman. And he had a mask issue. Chang. Fagan. Up top. And the reverse by Handelman for the deuce. I don't know where that one came from. A little problem with the audio there. To the side. Up top. Trevians setting it. And stolen. But out of bounds, and a couple more substitution. Mateo Miller comes in. Somebody else came in with that group, too, and I didn't catch who that was, but I know Mateo Miller came in. So I'm sorry, like I said, getting to know you. Oh, Will Schmelter also came in with Trevians. Up and in by Handelman. Braden Brayboy will check back in. Trevian's up by 31. I think we're into running time now. Whoops. Bounce on the foot forward and back. To the side, and a slash to the basket, put it up short. That was Handelman again. To the side, going for the three, yep. Handelman. Miller. To the side, back top, going for the three the other way. Swishery for three. Jake Fegan with the basket. The swishery for three, and up and no. Trevians with the rebound. And Schmelter bounced on either side of the rim, but couldn't get it to drop. Up and up short. Try again up top on the rotation. At high.
And go for the three. No, heavy. Back to the side, going for the three. No. And the reverse. Nice job. Dan the deuce. And Fagan with the deuce. Well, this has been a team effort. I think this year, looking on what I'm seeing on the talent, I think that's how the Trevians are going to have to get success this year. There have been years when it's been a, a superstar type of effort. Kremiscoli checks back in for the Trevians. And some years when it's been, that is to say, you know, the number one group is much better than everybody else, and it kind of, the rotation goes one, three, one, three, you know, one, two, one, three, one, two, one, three three with one being out there more often I, I'm seeing this group from what I'm seeing uh, f for this one and maybe it's also part of the uh, you know part of the pandemic philosophy and whatever uh, but the team seems much more uh, kind of balanced talent-wise. On the side, up top. Of course, it's kind of hard to tell on game number one. You know, getting everybody onto that, into a game. And the swishery for three from the outside. And stolen. Couldn't keep it. Inbounds. Kermiscoli with the steal. Inbounded. And up and in for the three. And that's it for the game. And the Trevians win this one big time. Final score 62 to 30. Hope you enjoyed our broadcast today. Join us for our more for more sports action. We're back. And for all of us here at the network, we say, as always, thanks for watching and so long, everybody. This has been a Metro Chicago Sports Network copyrighted presentation. All rights reserved.